Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how we can make use of filter in Apache HBase. Uh, what is filter? Filter help us in filtering the rows based on a condition, right? First of all, uh, in today's video, I'll be uh, first going through the some points which I have made uh, for this video. Afterwards, I'll be uh, taking you to the Eclipse where we'll be implementing the same, right? Let's start. So. Filter in the Apache H base is, is equal to the where clause of SQL, right? So it is helping us in controlling what data is retrieved by scan. We all are aware about the scan, which is used to print the result, right? So H base provide us the large number of built-in filters. In addition to it, we do have option of custom uh, made filters as well. So what filter can return? It can return the a specific red set of row IDs, it can return specific set of column or column families, it can return timestamps, it can return specific value for a column and many more. So it has a multiple use cases. All the filters that we have in a Apache H base are the subclasses of a filter abstract class. So the very first filter that we're going to talk about today is row filter. So row filter uh, help us in checking if the row ID matches the specified condition or not. So it is one of the uh, built-in uh, filters provided by HBase. As I've already have stated here, it uh, HBase provides us a large number of built-in filters. So it is one of it. So a row filter descends from a compare filter. Like uh, if we talk about uh, uh, Apache Hadoop, in that case also, if we talk about mapper, we have a mapper class available. It means all the classes are being inherited from the mapper superclass. If we talk about the mapper, in the same way, in this case, the row filter descends from a compare filter, and this is a complete hierarchy. We have a filter as a base class, then we have a filter base, then we have a compare filter, at last we have a row filter. This is a complete hierarchy that we follow in a Apache H base. So this compare filter, uh, because as I've already stated that row filter descends from a compare filter, so the compare filter requires two parameters for its functioning. First is a operator, we have to specify whether it is less than, greater than and all. Uh, second parameter is comparator object. So the compare filter class provides us the few operators uh, with the likes of less, less or equal, equal, not equal, greater or equal or greater. So next parameter that we have is comparator object. What is comparator object? These are the objects which will compare the table data against the specified value. So we have to specify the condition here. In the uh, operator part, we have to specify what kind of uh, operator that, got, that we're gonna use. In the next, uh, uh, next parameter, we have to specify the condition. So the row filter will take this uh, operator and op comparator object and use them to filter the row IDs. In today's uh, like uh, practical uh, demo, uh, we're gonna just use the same in which we uh, will be filtering some data with, with respect to particular row ID and return the result. So this is the uh, simple snippet of code which I have highlighted here in which this uh, compare filter dot com, uh, compare filter dot compare this one compare op dot equal it is the operator we are using a equal operator here and next next parameter is this is the parameter which is a comparator object the meaning of this line is that this filter will check if the row id matches the string one or not or we can say like we are just returning the data correspond to the row id one so the uh, in the apache h base we do have option of other operators other comparators available uh, comparator operators as well what are the other comparators available? Like it can be a regex string for regular expressions or it can be a substring, but it's out of the scope of this video. I'll be uh, discussing it in a different or separate video. Uh, so at the last, we have to just pass it to the set filter method of a scan object. So in this case, you can see, we are just uh, adding a, uh, you just are using a set filter method. So scan objects have a set filter method where we can specify a filter. So this is the, a uh, simple little uh, keywords or key points about the filter. Let's now uh, go to the uh, Eclipse where we can see all the things in action. So it's a simple uh, piece of code that we are having. At very first, we have a same boilerplate available in which we just uh, establishing a connection to the uh, H base. And here we are just uh, getting the reference to a table that we gonna uh, like uh, we'll be using in today's video, which is the today one. Uh, here we are just using a filter, which I already have uh, discussed in a previous uh, this uh, notepad file that it has a two parameters. First parameter is operator, second is the comparator object. So in this case, we are just comparing with the row ID two, right? So here we are uh, defining the scan class and we are just adding the uh, set filter method. Afterwards, we just uh, getting the scan result here. At last, we are just reading our values. And the uh, last part is we're just closing the scanner. So this is a, a, a complete piece of code that we are having. I hope it is clear. Now we can uh, just check out in the case of Apache HBase shell that what we have in a scan today. 
in this today one this the today one returns to uh, two information one is correspond to the row id 2 other is the correspond to the row id 3 so as per the uh, code we gonna just uh, return the data correspond to the row id 2 in the row id 2 we are having a timestamp value which is ending with 8265 and we have a column family as c1 and column is call1 let's see if we can return the same result in the case of uh, this eclipse or not let's run this code guys so i'm just uh, running this let's see what answer we are getting so in this case you can see guys like as i've already stated that we are just returning a data correspond to the row id 2 and you can see you can check out the uh, timestamp value it is the same that it is 78265 right and the length is 2 sp its length is 2 you can see it here so guys i hope uh, all the points that i have discussed in this short little video is is clear in case if you are not getting any point just comment on this video guys thanks for watching this video see you next next video